Hi, my name is Rowan Osman. Welcome to an overview of my audio visualizer. The purpose of this project was to create an audio analyzer that would visually indicate a song based on its frequency and volume properties. In this video, I'll walk you through how I was able to create my audio analyzer. First, we'll look at a block diagram where I'll show you the four main sections of the circuit. After that, we'll look at how the components were designed for analytically. Then I'll show you some of the tests I was able to do in multisims. And then finally, I'll show you a working demonstration of my circuit prototype. Here's a block diagram of the circuit at large. The audio input will be coming from an analog discovery 2, or 82. It will come in the form of a separate left and right channel. The purpose of the weighted summer is to combine the left and right channels and to produce the desired gain. After this, a low pass filter and a high pass filter will be used to separate the bass and treble from the combined input. The third main part of this circuit is the rectifiers. This will ensure that only forward bias voltages are entered to the LED driver. It also detects the peaks of the audio input and it controls the pulse width modulation of the LEDs. The last section of the circuit is the LED drivers. Connected to two transistors are the stars of our show, two flashing LEDs. This schematic shows the implementation of the block diagram. You can see the left and right audio inputs going into the weighted summer. Then the summed input will pass through the high and low pass filters, followed by the rectifier and LED drivers. Let's briefly go over some of the math and concepts that were used to design the circuit. For the weighted summer, we had to consider the gain of an inverting op amp. For the high and low pass filters, the transfer function was found using Kirchhoff's current law and voltage division. The transfer functions were simplified to standard form to identify the quality factor and corner frequency expression. This was an important step because the quality factor and corner frequency are our design requirements. The rectifier was also designed for the corner frequency. Lastly, the LED drivers were designed for the MOSFET's voltage threshold. I found this portion of the analytical design to be the most rigorous. I found it to be more difficult because previous experiments had to be done in order to find the KN characteristics and voltage threshold of the MOSFET. We also needed to find the voltage threshold of the LEDs and take that into consideration. Once the components were solved for, I jumped into making numerical models of the circuit. Here you can see the Multisims model of the weighted summer. Our weighted summer needed to have a corner frequency below 20 Hz and a gate of 2.5 or 7.95 decibels. Here we can see that the corner frequency is at 7.23 Hz. This meets the first design requirement. The gain is at 9.7 decibels, or about 3, rather than 2.5. Although this isn't ideal, it can be expected because we have limited components to choose from. When designing an audio visualizer, you can customize the bandwidth that goes into the high and low pass filters based on your song choice. I chose the song Come Together by the Beatles because it has defined bass and treble and it has distinct left and right audio inputs. However, bass can generally be defined as a frequency less than 250 Hz and treble can be defined as a frequency greater than 2000 Hz. As long as you're in this range for your corner frequencies, your audio visualizer should really work for any song. I used Audacity to perform a fast Fourier transform on my input from Come Together. From the analysis, I can see that my bass is less than 300 Hz and my treble is about greater than 2000 Hz, so these were the corner frequencies that I designed for. With this AC sweep, we can see that the corner frequency is at 348 Hz for the low pass filter. This meets our design requirement for the corner frequency being above 300 Hz. The high pass filter has a numerical corner frequency around 1900 Hz. This meets the design requirement to be below 2000 Hz. The diode on the peak detector of the rectifier will ensure that only forward base voltages go to the LED driver. I did an interactive simulation in multisims to make sure that the LED was flashing at a rate that can be perceivable by the human eye. Because the LED was blinking, I know the filter connected to pin 2 of the op amp is correct. The MOSFET used in our circuit has a voltage threshold of about 1.8 volts. This means that R3 and R2 need to create a DC offset of 1.8 volts. 
Here the offset is around 1.4 volts. Since this is below the voltage threshold, that means that some of the quieter inputs from the song may not light up the LED. The high pass rectifier has a DC offset of about 1.65 volts. This will be slightly better for our input. Both rectifier transient analyses show that the rectifiers are accurately detecting the maximum amplitude or the peak of the input. Once the individual blocks were verified to be working correctly, they were combined into the final numerical circuit. A transient analysis is very helpful to see how the input changes throughout the circuit. Let's take a deeper look at this graph. First, we can see the weighted summer output, which is labeled sum signals, both combines and amplifies the individual inputs. Looking at the high pass signal and the low pass signal, we can see how the outputs of the filters are different based on the frequency of the input. The peak detector signals clearly show the DC offset and the maximum voltage of the input. Finally, an interactive simulation showed that the LEDs were blinking at a rate that I could perceive with my eyes. Together, all of this verifies that the circuit is in fact working numerically. Now I know I can go on to build the experimental prototype. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the experimental implementation of the audio visualizer. So here is my circuit, and you can kind of see what each block is. We have the left and right channel coming in from the 82. In the background, we have the oscilloscope um, of wave gen, which is connected to the 82. First, there is the weighted summer, so the left and right channels go into the weighted summer. Next are the silent key filters. There's the low pass filter on top and the high pass filter on bottom, which separate uh, the treble and the bass. Following that, we have the rectifier, and then finally, the LED driver. I've dimmed the lights so we can go ahead and see the circuit in action. Right now I have the power supply turned on, so the LEDs are barely on. We've just surpassed the voltage threshold of the MOSFETs. And now I'm going to go ahead and play Come Together. I'm going to also turn on the oscilloscopes where you can see the audio, in audio input because it's connected um, to the inputs right now, and then as the song is playing, I'll move the oscilloscope so you can see the change of the signal throughout the circuit. It's a great start. We can go ahead. And, uh, we can already see the LEDs flashing. The green LED is flashing with uh, the higher frequencies, like the singer the voice, and the red LED is flashing with the bass. oscilloscopes are currently in the input. Now I'm going to move one of them to be on this weighted summer output. We can see that it's adding and producing a gain. Next, I'm going to go to the filters. This is the high pass filter. they differ. Next are the rectifiers. So we can see it's detecting the peaks. And then finally we can see that the LEDs are flashing. So this confirms that the experimental prototype is functioning. I really enjoyed this project. It gave me a lot of opportunity to gain skill sets related to designing circuits, to testing circuits, and also to working in a team. Um, I, I learned that a lot of times the uh, values that you get analytically don't exactly work as you expect when you're building an experimental circuit. And so I learned to be able to uh, you know, troubleshoot and to change my components to get the desired results, even if it's a bit different than what I had gotten through my math initially. I also learned about using Bode plots and uh, transient graphs, and I, they were very useful to me to be able to observe the outputs that I'm getting. I got a lot of uh, skills uh, um, as well with working with oscilloscopes with this project.
while working on this project, there was a lot of um, managerial components as well. I was working with two partners, and so I learned to use tools like Gantt charts um, and Google Drive to be able to organize our team and to make sure that we were on task and finishing everything by the deadline. This was a really cool project, and I really enjoyed it, and it summarized a lot of the information I learned over the semester from fundamentals of electrical engineering, too. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed this overview of my audio visualizer.